Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install and remove software in Mint Linux, but only on the command line. So if you're a beginner user and you're not comfortable with the command line, you go through and follow these steps. They're really easy to use. So this is if you want to start learning how to use the command line more. So this is a good place to start learning how to add or remove software. So just keep watching and I'll show you the quick easy steps on the command line to install, search, and remove software packages. So just keep watching. First you want to open up a terminal window. Once you have it open, you want to type in sudo app-get install gparted. Now gparted is the software package we are interested in installing. You can replace this variable name with any software package you would like to install. You will now be presented with some information such as dependency packages that will be installed, additional suggested software packages that could accompany the software package you are about to install, and the packages that will be installed, including the dependencies. Once you click Y, the software package will now install, including its dependencies. It should just take a few minutes depending on the software you are installing. Here's another quick example of doing a software installation. This time we're going to install the OpenSSH server. This will install the software package and the services and will start up the services. If we have already installed the software package but want to gain some information on it later on, we could use the dpkg command minus L. This is a Debian package manager that's built into Ubuntu. It's a low level command. Now if you use the minus L option, it will list all but if you go ahead and give an argument after that, such as the software package name, it will list the information on that package. If you are not sure of the software package name, you can go ahead and use the pipe grep, which will redirect your output into grep, a search function, and then followed by the string. So in this case, we want to search for SSH, so we're going to grep SSH. This will return a list of all software packages that contain SSH in its title. I'm sorry if I forgot to record this part, but to remove the software, you're going to use the dpkg hyphen remove and then the software package. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, I hope this command line interface was easy for you guys to use. This is a great place to start for beginners to start using the command line. And I hope you guys start using it just every day a little bit because traditionally Unix environment, which Linux came from Unix, was all command line. And I only use command line now at work for pretty much everything I need to do. So just keep working on it. And if you want to be a Linux system administrator, then using the command line is something you need to be comfortable with. So just keep watching and I'll see you guys next time.